two years ago, uh, Boeing brought the 787-9 to the show and it was very much one of the highlight performances of the flying display. This year there's something different. They're bringing the 737 MAX. This is the fourth test aircraft. It's also going to be in the flying display. And strangely, if you look back at the history of the aircraft, it's the first time a 737, other than the P-8 military derivative, has ever appeared in a public flying display at any air show. This aircraft behind me, as you can see, is very distinguished in terms of its new large engines. It's got the Leap 1B from CFM International. And the other distinguishing external factor is the winglet, the very unusual split winglet at the end of that wing. The nose gear is uh, also raised to give additional ground clearance for the larger engine and that is an external distinguishing feature. Inside, updated systems on the flight deck and interior. It's also given the new cabin, which is the standard Southwest cabin. Southwest Airlines is, of course, the launch customer for the MAX and will be taking their first aircraft around this time next year, we think. At the moment, certification flying is just getting underway. Boeing has completed the, the bulk of their type test program. But uh, now, of course, it's the, uh, the job of getting through FAA and EASA certification. Four aircraft in the test program. This particular one will be flying back to the States to resume that program at the end of the week. Good morning. We're standing in front of our airplane designated 1A004. Uh, this is our fourth flight test on the MAX, uh, fourth airplane uh, that's in flight test on the MAX. Uh, what this airplane is going to do for us is it's going to be able to demonstrate a lot of the uh, uh, right at first flight activities that we're doing to assure that the airplane has high reliability when we put it into service. Uh, right now, we're about 800 hours into our flight test program. Flight test is going very well across all four airplanes. Uh, airplane number one is really doing all of our stability and control work. Airplanes two and three are doing our systems and propulsion work. And as I mentioned, this airplane is doing a lot of our right at first flight and our ETOPS testing. As I said, we're about 800 hours into the flight test program. We expect to wrap that up uh, in 2016 and then be prepared to deliver the airplane in the first half of 2017.